All right, you guys, we have made it to double kettlebell swings. So um, this is for anyone who is comfortable with the two-handed swings, comfortable with single arm swings, alternating arm swings. This is the next progression. I would call this an advanced kettlebell swing. You need to have two kettlebells of the same size. Really don't recommend like a 25 pound weight and a 15 pound weight swinging together. It'll be off balance and just not ideal. So if you don't have two kettlebells of the same weight, like 215s, 220s, 225s, something like that, then don't worry about this style of swing. Just keep working on your two-handed swing with your medium to heavy size kettlebell. But if you're curious about what this looks like, how it feels, go ahead and keep watching. So the setup for our kettlebell swing is gonna be just like all the others. Um, we're gonna step away from the kettlebells. And by the way, we're setting the kettlebells right next to each other so the handle is one long horizontal line, okay? We're gonna step back away from the kettlebells. <clears throat> Obviously one hand on each kettlebell. If you would like, go ahead and turn your thumbs towards each other. That way, as these kettlebells, which are now two of them, come between your legs, you can sort of like uh, make it a little bit easier for them to get through your legs by turning them, rotating them inwards just a hair. At the top of the swing, go ahead and rotate them back out so that your hands are flat. They're not rotated at the top of your swing, which of course is gonna bring your shoulders in. You want your shoulders still back and down. <clears throat> Hips back, take an inhale breath. And park it. Okay, so two kettlebells, you're having to control both weights at the same time, which can throw you off balance just a little bit. Normally for me, um, when I go to a double kettlebell swing, I kind of feel like that weight is pulling me forward. So we really need to make sure we're standing up nice and tall and square at the top. Still not overextending, keeping our abs super tight, glutes engaged. Um, I do see people swinging in a neutral grip sometimes like this. That is not how I was taught. That's not how I learned in my Russian, Russian kettlebell certification. So I am not teaching you that style. If that's how you learned, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that's not how I was taught and that's not how I'm teaching you. So decide for yourself. Um, let's try it together if you're ready and willing. Feet might be a teeny bit wider than they were before on your two-handed swing, just because we're now bringing two kettlebells through your legs. So hips back, abs engaged. Take a sip of air, make sure your feet are nice and connected to the floor. Good. All right, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoy your double kettlebell swings and let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.